All right, we're ready to go on to the next tool, which is the Awesome Animal Builder, also a tool by Mozilla. And I use this with my middle and high school students. Um, it's a lot of fun, but it's also just a great activity to practice recognizing HTML tags and playing around with them. So we have uh, three different options. We could do a small, a medium, or a large awesome animal. As a bonus, uh, a challenge, I would tell you you could actually mix those three up, and I'll show you how later. But if you really want to challenge yourself, you could try that. And what you have are on the left side, this is the actual HTML file with all the tags. And on the right side is what shows up in a browser. So again, these tags are really what browsers like Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox need in order to um, figure out what is going to be displaying on the screen. Now before we get into it, remember you're going to sign up with your persona account and this is going to give you access to the badges. And I have to say, I was a skeptic of badges myself for quite a while uh, because I thought um, it was more of an extri extrinsic motivation and I'm not always sure that's the best way to motivate students. But I've also recently learned that badges are also a way for people and kids that may not have the adult expertise to help them see what the next steps are, especially in technical fields like computer science. Um, badges are definitely a way to help provide a roadmap, so I'm getting to be more of a fan. All right, so again, we're on the left-hand side where the HTML document is, and you can always almost tell that it's that when you see this. And obviously, the first thing that's appearing on the web page is large, awesome animals, and there's all this stuff in between. So it's not showing up. And one of the reasons it's not showing up is we have this tag, which says a comment's coming. So there's a starting of a comment and an end comment. And these are just instructions for how to use this activity, uh, which I'm going through. And then here's the very first tag. Again, it's saying here's an HTML document coming up. We have our heading info, which, um, and you'll see, remember I talked about there's beginning tags. And if we go all the way to the bottom, there's the end of that HTML tag. Uh, and then we have our heading tag, which is all the information like this would appear in the tab, actually, up at the top here. It also identifies things like style sheets, which is what we're going to get into next week. Um, and then that ends that head tag. Here's another comment. And then, ah, here, finally, we're getting to body means this is what I want to appear on the screen, the, the stuff after this. And there's our very first thing, large, awesome animals. So we've got um, our head one tag and our end head one tag. Now if we go to the right side, again, this is what actually appears on the website. And we have these three animals to choose from to build our own. We have the whale, the rhinoceros, and the elephant. So I am going to start with the whale. And if I click over here, sort of anywhere, you see how it highlights, it tells me, okay, that's that information. I'm gonna click on the image of the whale here. And what I wanna do, I think I wanna use the middle of the whale, so I'm going to just highlight uh, the stuff in between the quotes, okay? And I'm going to copy that, come back up here. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Come back up here, and I'm going to come in here and just replace, all right? And so now I've got the middle uh, of the whale. Now I can't pass up using the end of the um, elephant. So that's the tail here, and again, I'm going to highlight this, copy it. Now, one thing about tags is they're pretty persnickety. So let's say that, I don't know, instead of um, just doing inside the quotes, I might have captured a little bit more, and I'm going to uh, be replacing something that, uh-oh, what happened? So for this, I have to go back and look, okay. An image tag doesn't end with the carrot. So if I go over here, oops. Now, one thing I have to do is just undo that. All right. Control Z or Command Z on a Mac is magic. Um, they also have a undo tag over here, but I love that. So I could uh, just do that. Be very careful that I select just inside the quotes and then paste. Then I'm good again. All right, so obviously I'm left with the rhinoceros head. And there's the head. Oops. Oh, 
you know what I did? I copied <laughs> that over again. I copied the question mark over instead of pasting. Let me do that again. Copy. And paste. All right. And now I can go on to change other things. So the figure, that's this information right here. And we will call this a whale elephantosaurus or something like that. Uh, you can also change uh, the paragraph here and you can see, you can start getting an idea of what tags do. So strong here must mean, oh, that must mean it should be bolded, right? Uh, we also have some more tags down here like uh, bullets. And with a bullet list, you have a couple of tags. You need to say a, a bullet list is coming up. So OL, ordered list. And then you actually need your bullets and they're each inside their tags. And then you have to end that bullet list. You could also make this an unordered list. And again, you see it's saying, hey, I don't see an end tag for that UL. And that's why that's showing up red. So I can change it there. And now you see my one, two, three have changed to just bullets. Um, so when you're done with this, you can also click publish and publish it to the web and share your awesome animal creature with the groups. Uh, and again, remember the challenge is you could actually take a part from a large, a small, and a medium creature and make something. So good luck.